Hello, welcome everyone. How are you today? Well, I kind of wanted to come through and, and deliver a video regarding this um, winter solstice for us in the northern hemisphere coming in and, and that we have this full moon in Cancer, Cancer ruled by Luna. So here's the 21st and the 22nd. We've got these fabulous energies harnessing and you know cancer a water sign all about our emotions and our feelings and then ruled by <laughs> Luna love herself it's just genuine camaraderie and a meant to be connection and then coming with the winter solstice I got I got the grandfather right here of the winter with me but I I just had to make certain that I delivered this video and and I also wanted to uh, you know for all the viewers who come and meet in the southern hemisphere you know you're going into that summertime so but um, I also wanted to say that um, I brought my witch's tarot out I brought the gateway to the divine which is this is the high priestess but we had the um, empress come through and this is the Thelema deck which they highlight the empress but so i have the empresses on board but um it's just kind of fascinating here i hold these two empresses with the high priestess representing i got my little polar bear on here too um you know i kind of like to relate to things but we'll put the high priestess in them in the middle representing luna herself the high priestess is all about the moon but, you know, um, Empress Venus has been coming through on my channel, I want to say, since 2016 for sure, but 2017 she was all over the place and that she just came through this card from the Witch's Tarot on the last reading I delivered. And um, when now that we're zoning in on 2019, you know, saying uh, sweet goodbyes to 2018, but if we take two zero one nine, right? Two zeros two. Two plus one is three. Plus nine is twelve. One and two is three. So it's a numerology of three. And here we have the number three major arcana card, the Empress, who is not only the mastery of herself, but the master of many kingdoms, right? Because there's kings and queens who also have mastered themselves. Yet the emperor and the empress rule kingdoms. So this is kind of the energy we want to embrace and harness towards 2019. And that we have this fabulous uh, full moon for all people <clears throat> in cancer, water sign. You know, think about your emotion or let's harness your emotions in as many positive ways as you can. Um, let's consider what where we're going on this road trip that we have together. Um, 2019 can be a wonderful. Oh, we got the king right there, but um, 2019. Usually I kind of have my cards all set up, but I guess I was looking at the empress here. But let's put her down here. But truly, and you know we don't read gender specific on this channel, so it's for all people to harness the Venus. And not, oh boy, did you see that card just pop through? This card, see, did you see that? I don't know. That card just kind of swung out, so we got to have a bonus. I like, I could just eat. So, but uh, Empress Venus is now in the morning. You can see her in the morning, okay? Um, unfortunately, I've been trying to take a photo moment of her. Uh, in the morning, my, it's like about like 6.30 in the morning, my my time here in Florida on um, the West Coast, but um, you all can see her. Uh, but then what I'm trying to say is that, um, you know, she's, planet Venus is the one to embrace. Okay, so let's put um, the High Priestess back in her deck, okay, and make certain that we have a lovely reading for today for this weekend and again number three code for uh, 2019 did you see that boy already these cards are jumping 
Okay, and I kind of felt this top card too. Since now we got three cards, why don't we just make these bonus? I got my runes here, but this card I also felt as well. Okay, I don't know how some people do it, but like it's like you can feel a little ding. <laughs> okay, well let's embrace this reading. Put the polar bear with winter grandfather there. So um. And I'm kind of moving on. I, uh, you know, I still have a lot more to go regarding. I don't want to be staying stuck on this health issue, but um, I, they do plan to give me another surgery down the road. Um, so once that comes my way, we'll let you know. But I'm feeling better, and I have a nice nurse that comes visits me to, you know, check on me for certain things. So they can, you know, relate to the doctors. But it seems like I'm moving forward and and in positive ways. Okay, and we always think positive, right? Um, but even if we have setbacks, we just, you know, look up to our sun, look, embrace with the Luna, and think of Planet Venus. Okay, she's she's been coming through. And there's a reason for that, okay? All right, for all of you who follow me, you know I like to do a nine card spread. And we've got already some bonus cards here for us. But since this is closing down, uh, 2018 this year just flew by, no doubt. Um, but let's just concentrate on harness your energies. Um, you know, take that quiet power time every day oh look right there in my hand okay all right first card okay so let's just take a moment i decided to put on a little music today little soundscapes it's called just to you yeah. I love listening to music. I mean, I really, music is beautiful to me. Okay, right there. Okay. All right, the cards really are talking today, it seems like. But what a beautiful vibra vibration we have here. Again, you know, full moon, cancer ruled, and cancer is the water sign, and uh, major arcana card is the... Um, Cherry up. Look at this card right here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're not going to do three cards. It felt like one card. <laughs> but they're talking. Yes. Okay, hold on. i got to close my eyes. Well, I'm feeling that with my hands. But Okay, let's just see for the moment. We want just not too many cards. and swift okay and many blessings to all of you celebrating the holidays and Merry Christmas remember you know we're going to embrace baby Jesus and Jesus is the man and Christ is our Lord um, let's keep him more powerful than ever and with his potent posse squad <laughs> let's see what happens this year 
for 2019. Three. Powerful number. 369. Highest frequency vibrations. Look up the quote by Nikola Tesla. Good stuff. Okay, so let's see what comes through for our reading. This is the High Priestess from the Witches Tarosa. Let's see what comes through for us. And many blessings to all of you. Be safe out there during these holidays. And um, just enjoy, enjoy. 2019, let's look forward to this year. King of Swords comes through already. <laughs> wow, well, he's the King of Kings, the King of Swords. Okay, so we already have mastery coming through. And he's the King of, of Kings because the air element sign is, think, is how we think our mental thoughts. And he leads with, um, uh, you know, thinking everything through you know like the king of hearts he's comes from p compassion in his heart but you know he sometimes doesn't think like this king thinks you know he kind of this king of swords is also kind of military-ish you know they got to think on how they're gonna defeat and you know but he he's come through he's got his his falcon with him he's looking straight at us he's on earth He's holding his sword high and tall. Please get out of nature. That's another realm we gotta tap. Look up, look up to the stars. Look, always know where the sun is in the during the day. Always know where Luna is, day and night. Very good. This is pretty powerful, really, to come through like that from the get out. Ah, oh, look how lovely. Major Arcana card, the lovers is here. Okay. So now we already have this loveliness. This is Gemini's uh, Major Arcana card. And here we see like an angel giving the blessings. And here we have Luna in the background. Like I always say, Luna loves the lovers. And usually, you know, there's always lovers going out to watch the full moon. And, you know, they show that well somewhere on a driveway where they're looking over on the cliff and they're looking up to Luna, but see this angel is there, like it's a blessing from the heavens, a blessing, it's, it's meant to be connection. And if you already have that more beauty to you, but if you're a single and, and wanting that, just you know, take care of you first, okay? Love you first. That's how that kind of works. They won't bring you that together mate if you're not ready yet you know you gotta know who you are first but for those of you following you know videos like mine and becoming more aware in your spirituality it's it'll be coming this is nice and then we have the king of kings so you know again we don't read gender specific just put your mind right you know think positive but think that you can accomplish everything and anything. But that there's love already coming through on the table. Six of Cups. My goodness, this card is... Not this specific card, but this Six of Cups, Six of Hearts has come through so often for this year of 2018. I, many videos has come through. And this card represents this love, friendship, affair... But, you know, as young children, and the six is about peace and harmony, cups about the water sign, your emotions, your how your heart is. But this card has come through so often that I kind of related to that this year, and that we have the lovers already arriving next to this card. And here we have this angelic form, this angel, the angel wings, kind of this... This relationship that if you're in already is blessed, but yet if you're single and searching, um, that this is kind of saying that this person that will come to you via heaven sent that has, you've known this person. You've, kno you've known them in the past, you know, as little kids, but maybe move, moving away, you, you've lost contact. But you will recognize each other right away again, okay? 
even though you're older and mature, but you had a bond, you had a soul to soul, and, and you know, little kids, there's nothing about, you know, they relate to each other because they feel it's soul to soul, you know, so, but this card, um, I gotta say, this is like the, over a dozen times this card came through on various readings, and usually that doesn't happen too much, you know, but yeah, and that has come through again for this December year-end full moon, you know, see the water, the emotions, please get outside if you can, do some kind of ritual for yourselves, um, you know, light a candle, you know, do a prayer, put your thoughts in, in correct wise, the, think like that king, put your mind right, okay, but send it out to the universe, show the love, if you're married or have a beautiful love affair now, make sure they know it, show them that love, okay, but this is definitely, and with the angelic realm, definitely, you know, I would say this is like a soul-to-soul -soul connection that's meant to be, it's just meant to be, and, 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 Truly, you, you have met each other already, physically, okay? But now, it's, it's supposed to be on, it's coming for 2019. The two of coins, okay, now we have this balance, and the two speak about that pairing as well, okay? And the two of coins speaks of pentacles, the earth element, okay? And we have uh, Jupiter's um, symbol here, and we have a Capricorn symbol here. So it's like, um, you know, uh, the coins is the pentacles, the earth sign, but that there's fortune coming, a pairing, and it takes two. And this pairing could be something about also, we talk about that quite often, and that the lovers is here, that this, you two could also run a business together. Okay? So now we have that love pairing that that Six of Cups speaks of this friendship that you've known each other in the past. Uh, you know, it could be in a past life too, but this is more concrete. This is, uh, you know, being on the earth that you were already here on earth planet. But definitely a pairing is here. So keep the balance. You can see we got the rainbows, the colors, uh, again on the water even though this is the coins pentacles you see there's the water influence again so just um, keep that balance okay because fortune came on the table already and that a pairing is there you know the two pairings look at this boy two kings already out of nine cards that's pretty cool when there's 78 cards in the tarot deck. And who would he have? We have the king of love right here. So, as I mentioned, he's he's like that father figure. He loves his children. He loves his people in his kingdom. He loves his wife. He he's, he's the king of love, this guy right here. And he's holding like his grail cup. How fabulous, two kings together. That doesn't happen a lot either. So think like these kings. Master yourselves for 2019. Put it out here with this full moon, okay? Definitely. Release what no longer serves you. Um, make sure that you're thinking as positive as you can. Make sure 2019 is the year you're going to think like the empress who she's full about. She's all about bounty and harvest and love. You know, she usually is shown a pregnant she too, you know, loves, passionate, you know, that Venus power. But here we have the passionate king, and he does show his emotions. Sometimes why, you know, we need the king of swords who, you know, can battle a little better than this guy who just wants to love, you know. And he wears his uh, heart on his sleeve sometimes, but, but he's well loved. That's the deal. His people love him as well because he takes care of them. But this is very intriguing that the king of love and the king of intellect are both here and right under the lovers, okay? So think it right. Okay, so now we have the four coins, but now this card is another pentacles card, which is about your resources, 
money, okay? But sometimes this card, even though I take a, speak of the fours as good supply, stability, like, and I always related to the pyramids, how the pyramids were built on four, up to build the pyramid, to transform up to the stars, to get that wisdom from the stars. Um, uh, but usually this guy, or this um, energy is, where he, you can see how he's sort of like want to hoard his own money. And we don't want to hoard money, okay? Money comes, money goes. Money has energy. We're not to say that you, you know, you, you just spend a lot of money and going into debt. No, that's not going to help anybody either. But it's not about hoarding, okay? You, you just, you spend when you have to, but you don't hoard the money. Usually you see him, he has his little treasure chest and he's got a lot of coins and he's got the key. Nobody else has access to it, okay? But we're going to give this energy that good supply, okay? That stability, okay? But, you know, donating is good if you have it. You know, help people if you got it. Everything you can do to help heal this universe aids. It comes back to you, okay? That's how karma works. What you give, you get back, okay? Uh, but still, positive energy is here, okay? Knight of Wands. <laughs> Look at this. How fabulous. Well, he's my favorite knight. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Fire, the passion he has. He's usually kind of considered like um, the playboy of the deck, you know, the young stud. And the queen of fire, she's my favorite queen, queen of passionate energy. But here we have the fire, they, they got that energy, you know, like I go for what I want. But he's also, you know, he kind of has, he thinks like the king of swords. He loves like the king of cups, and uh, he's the king of fire, definitely. Wonderful. And uh, we like to see the young blood, the knights, because it means when it comes out in the readings for, like, for all the people, you have the energy, whether you're, you know, 10 years old to master your own future, or whether you're 90 years old. You know, you can just keep on going, all right? Do what you've been wanting always to do. And if you're already doing it, more power to you. Never give up. Never give up on your dreams. Never give up. And look at the beautiful stallion there. Wonderful. This is a nice reading for... Oh, and look at this. How lovely. Another major kind of temperance. How gorgeous. I love the temperance card. This is... Um, oh. Jupiter's card, I think. And see, she's got the two of cups and she's doing the alchemy right there. Just beautiful. And the angel, angel wings, too. So, like, we have two angels and one with the lovers. Isn't this intriguing? Okay. So, and, you know, the angels are with us, my darlings. I haven't been able to make my age, but I'm feeling so much better. Like today is one of the best days I felt. I Some of the things I had kind of still stuck in my body, they pulled them out just yesterday, and I can feel so much better that all that's gone. So, oh, I apologize. I should have turned off the phone. But anyway, um, sorry for that distraction. I apologize. I try to always turn that off, but um, sorry. Anyway, here we have two angels here, okay? That's a good, good sign. And temperance is lovely. And she does speak of that alchemy and that, that you need to make your own elixir, okay? And you see she's working with these two cups. you got the lovers here. And we talk about this beautiful six of cups, this pairing, this pairing that can bring, this pairing can bring forward this joyful union that's meant to be, it wants to be coming from the heavens, okay? So 
to don't give up. And then we got the Playboy, but watch that guy a little bit. <laughs> watch that. <laughs> okay, now look, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so now the Sevens. Now, Sevens is a number that can mean uh, spiritual. It speaks of the spiritual realm. And Sevens can be either spiritual victory or spiritual challenges. And this is another card like this Four of Coins. That even though four speak of stability and good supply, but usually this personality wants to be a hoarder of money. So we don't want to go to the negative side of things, okay? And you can see this personality, this, you know, I really love this deck. Um, this is the, the Lima deck, but I wish the cards were a little brighter in, in the paint job, but... Um, He's one that literally depicts this person is trying to break into your house and steal your stuff. Okay, so. But you're going to be victory in, okay, you're going to have spiritual victory because you're going to be aware of certain people like this, okay. That, you know, there's certain people out there that because you're doing well, or you're now on your new spiritual journey and they don't get it, they're going to be doing the bad mojo to you. So, I'm sorry. Obviously, someone's trying to reach me. I so apologize. I, uh, I usually always turn the phone off and I guess I just was excited that I felt so energetic today. But hopefully they're getting a the message that I'm not answering. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We had three of these cards come through, so let's pick them. Okay, this was, this is the witch's deck, right? And then this is the, okay, so let's do it like this. So we go, the first card, Ten of Wands. Look how lovely. Ten of Fire. Okay, so now we have the Tens, and Tens speak of that transcendence, where literally you have accomplished, you know, from the Fool card, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10 is that transcendence where you've gone through everybody. You've gone through many personalities. You you know what the good is. You know what the bad is. But you now are there. And you can see this person is with his, his wands, the 10 of wands, the fire, the staffs. Like you, you're like your own magician walking towards your own castle. Okay? And now you have mastered yourself. You, you are working with the elixir of life. You're working with the angelic realm. You're working with the cosmic realm, okay? And that you have your own passionate energy is magical, okay? Magical. And here you are in a slow pace, walking towards your kingdom, uh, walking towards your castle. But you've earned it. You've worked it. You see the dragons on his, on his, uh, on his back coat there. Work with that dragon fire energy. Actually, somebody just made a comment on an old dragon video I did today. And I thought that was fabulous. That, But that was like my sign. Start working with the dragon energy again. Really, this year just kind of went ahead of me. But, you know, I couldn't even do my clairvoyant alchemy readings. But now that I think, you know, I've taken so much time off because I had to physically, emotionally. But I'm looking forward to you know, jump back in and make some videos that I think that are needed right now. Beautiful, okay? So here we have it. So think like that empress, okay? You live in the castle already, okay? But just think about the bounty, helping your kingdoms, okay? That's the beauty of Empress Venus. And that she has been coming through so heavy. Just so heavy. It's fabulous. Wonderful. Have that passion. Whatever you have passion for, you go for it. You don't give up no matter what age you are in. Okay? And it's not about what color you are anymore. It's about you just doing what's in your heart, body, mind, and soul. Love you first. Not in an ego, conceited way. Just to know that you love your soul self. And align with the beautiful ones. And let's see what makes it happen. Temperance. Two temperances. Vaya con Dios. Okay. How lovely. 
I do. I think <laughs> my mind is a little lost there, but I think this is a uh, Jupiter's trump card here. So you can see that the angelic realm is here to bring good fortune, good wishes. They've got your back. They're wanting you to proceed forward. Never give up on you. Look up, okay? Look up. And one is working with the elixir, and he or she has her elixir of water and fire, okay? So we've already had fire, passionate energy coming through. So work with it. Work with it. And you can see how... She has one foot touching the water right there, making a little ripple on earth. This beautiful angel seems to be in a building of sorts, but it's, it's beautiful. Two temperance cards. That's magical right there. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And now we have the page of cups. Okay. This is wonderful. Two major arcana cards with the temperance. That's, that's wonderful. Just wonderful. Standing strong. Stand strong. Okay, so work with the angelic realm. You know who they are for you, and that could be, you know, family members who've passed, but they're still your angels as well. And now we have the page of cups, and usually the pages are feminine, uh, uh, energy in the cups is all about feminine receptive energy so and here we like the cups and are we like the pages we like the knights because that um, speaks of uh, young energy okay that you can do and here we have a fishy coming up from her cup so you know just get by a body of water take sea salt baths contemplate introspect meditate take that quiet power time but just find that energy within you to keep going, okay? Keep going. Whatever passion you have, just keep going. And there's there's love on this table, no doubt. You know, now be aware of certain energies that perhaps, uh, you know, are more uh, not as positive as we would like. They're a little bit more selfish and egoish and just want you know like this is the hoarder this is the stealer you know so you know that that's present every day every everywhere uh but you know it's not to fear it's just to be aware or beware okay be aware or beware but here we have young blood energy that's magnificent the night of fire passion and then the page of cups to bring healthy emotions through and definitely get by a body of water, no doubt about it, okay? And that we brought forward these two kings, and they're also in the castle already, and that we brought forward this king, okay? These two kings is magical as well. The king of swords, the king of kings came through to open the reading with his falcon, and the king of, you know, the, the father card that, as they say, he loves his children. He loves his kingdom. But as this two work together, that's a good dynamic as well. Because this king can teach him about love. And this king can say, like, think with your mind. <laughs> that's good. That doesn't usually happen. Uh, two wonderful kings come together in a reading. So that's very magical as well. And, you know, here we have that pairing. Keep on going with the resources, but the transcendence has arrived with the Ten of Fire. Like, just keep moving, keep going, have no fear. This, you know, there's always going to be forces out there that, um, you don't concentrate on evil, right? We talk about that. Archangel Michael taught me that many, many moons as a young girl. We do not concentrate on evil. We're aware that it exists, but we move forward in positive ways, the lovers has come here as well, Major Arcana, and these two temperance cards is just Mac Daddy fabulous, okay? So, but it is about that alchemy, it is about taking quiet power time, it is about you making the elixir work, 
okay, for you. But again, this card, Six of Cups, Six of Hearts has come through. And you see these young children are friendly and have this friendship together. And yet, they meet up again, okay? And I'm sure some of you have had that happen, that you haven't seen a childhood friend in all these years, and you run into each other, okay? And that is muy positivo, okay? You know what, something, where did this temperance card come from? You know what, I'm just going to go to the, the Thelema deck real quick, because this one came from the Thelema, and, um, and this one came from the Gateway. Oop, we don't want that rock to fall. Uh, isn't this fun? These, these are some of my stones I find right here on my property, these little granite stones. It's fun. Okay, hold on, because what time am I? Oh, yeah, we got some time. I just want to see these two temperance. That hardly happens as well, you know, and this is beautiful, the temperance card. And she, the temperance card doesn't come out too much as well either. Okay, Sagittarius, okay. Um, the astrological, okay, Sagittarius, okay, Sagittarius, uh, ruled by Jupiter, okay, so Sagittarius, and this is from the, the gateway to the divine with the high priestess on the front cover, okay, the astrological, and this is by Cyril Marchetti, Sagittarius, Sagittarius adventurous, a free spirit, enthusiastic, freedom loving, truth seeking, philosophical, optimistic, and humorous. Sagittarius can also be disorganized, a procrastinator, tactless, and intellectual snob, and prone to exaggeration. But the gifts from this is refinement, equilibrium, and the advice is to learn by trial and energy. And it says here, quote by St. Thomas Aquinas, temperance is simply a disposition of the mind which binds the passions, okay? So that's kind of, that's kind of, not the way I'd look at this card, but let's see what the Thelema deck has to say for the Major Arcana Temperance card. Because that doesn't happen too often, that these two Major Arcana cards came together for this final, and for this full moon winter solstice energy, okay, for this northern hemisphere that we're going into. Um, so I know there's a deep message there, and I just want to relay it right for all of us. Okay, the temperance. So, and just think of that angelic realm, and here in the lover's card, another angel sending her five, and it's always, it always comes like in a female form, the temperance card. Okay, and we have a female in the lover's card as well. Temperance. I am the catalyst transforming these two liquids into something new. Okay, wonderful. Well, one is has kind of a liquid and fire, but this one is definitely with the two of cups. I am the catalyst transforming these two liquids into something new. And here we are. We're saying goodbye to 2018. We're going to 2019 with that beautiful three-number code, Empress Venus all the way. An angel stands with one foot in the water and one foot on the ground. We already recognize her foot in the water there. A tall mountain rises up behind her. She pours the liquid from one golden chalice to a silver chalice. Okay, so see now, we just recognize that. Okay, from a golden chalice to a silver chalice. A liquid form of, she pours a liquid form, excuse me, she pours a liquid from one golden chalice to a silver chalice. She is focused on this blending. The golden cup has connections to Mercury, while the silver cup presents Venus, represents Venus. Look how lovely that is standing for. And you can see now her forehead has like this star shine on it as well. Okay, let's read that again. She is focused on this blending. The golden cup has connections to Mercury, while the silver cup represents Venus. The red cord around her arm, okay, suggests an active power and the blue suggests a receptive force. Okay, isn't that funny that, because I'm wearing a little <laughs> scarf too, I usually don't wear these scarves, but that's kind of fun. 
Okay, let's read it again. The, um, the red cord around her arm suggests an active power. An active power usually connects to male active. And then the blue suggests a receptive force, which is usually receptive feminine, but usually blue speaks for boys, but let's just keep moving on. The sparkles hovering in the air in front give the operation a sense of magic. Okay, so you can see the little sparkles there. So that represents the magic of what she's doing with the elixir magic. And um, that the liquid of the two cups is becoming a whole new thing. And isn't that wonderful? Because the two of cup stands for that love affair. Okay. A love affair that's meant to be. And we already have the lovers on uh, the table here. So let's just bring them forward. Put them in the center here. And now we have these three angels. And with this two of cups, she's doing this um, elixing, elixiring with... Uh, could be that love affair we've been talking about and with the six of cups it's you know could be someone you knew from your past okay because that card has come through a lot as well okay so sparkles hovering in the air in front give the operation a sense of magic that the liquid of the two cups is becoming a whole new thing the brow of the angel is lit up okay so the her third eye her brow chakra is lit up connecting the work being done to a spiritual power okay well I'm glad I read that I like it all I like all about it okay so remember we we're talking about the seven of swords here sevens relate to spiritual challenges spiritual victories so if you're having a challenge with certain people who want to take from it you just let them go release them now in 20 uh, 18 okay because you got a new purpose in 2019 okay and the alchemy transforming two things into something completely new blending focused attention okay so this can be the theme of this reading to close down 2018 and to bring forward this alchemy transforming two things into something completely new blending focused attention and we're going to focus on that number three number representing 2019 and that is empress venus okay my darlings empress venus is with us so don't give up on her think like that king of kings but love like that king of hearts and just know that the angelic realm is here with us and here we have representing the tempest represents saggy Sagittarius, oops, the cards are just kind of not working with me right there, but um, planet Jupiter in the mix, planet Jupiter about that beautiful bounty of fortune, good fortune, so don't give up, and, and think like that king of fire as well, okay, all male active we got here, okay, have that passionate energy, have that passionate energy. Okay, so put it out there to the universe, you know, just don't give up on you, never give up on you, okay, just never ever give up on you. Okay, one rune, what did we pull here? What do we have? Oh, okay, well we pulled it upright, that's for sure. Now I should know that rune, because that's really a nice rune right there. Where are we at? 43, okay. Let's see. I know that room. Come on. Let's get this room. Oh, geez. Protection. Yes, that's the rune of protection. Where's my protection rune? Oh, it's, I think, on my table. That this lady came up to me with a basket, and she had painted all these runes on stones. I keep it in my, my bird room where the birdies are and the squirrelies are. I should know that room. Oh, I do know that room. Look, page 111. That's a good number. 111. Look that up. Numerology, new beginnings all the way. Positive. Let's just do new beginnings for the spirit is for this uh, 2019. Embrace that Empress energy. Protection. Sedge of Rushes. The Elk. Okay. 
Control of the emotions is at issue here. Okay, and we have that King of Cups over there, King of Love. But, you know, the emotions and the Six of Water here as well. But the emotions can bring you back and bring you into the future. You know, you can remember your past, but now your future is glorified because you've come together again. Okay, think about the elixir we were just reading, the temperance. During times of transition, shifts in life course, and accelerated self-change, it is important not to collapse yourself into your emotions, the highs as well as the lows. New opportunities and challenges are typical of this rune, and with them may come trespasses and unwanted influences. Well, holy gazolis, right? This is one, this person represents the trespasser. And you may know this person. That's, that's what the challenge is, okay? You may know this person. So use protection, okay? Always, before you leave your house, when you enter your house, you know, say some kind of, you know, protective prayer, whatever works for you. But, but you'll, you know this person. That's the sad thing about this card, okay? So let's just read that one more time. It is important not to collapse yourself into your emotions, the highs as well as the lows. New opportunities and challenges are typical of this rune, and with them may come trespasses and unwanted influences. And we're saying about this seven, could, this is a spiritual seven that could lead to spiritual challenges or spiritual victory. It's how you handle it. Algees, the name of this rune is Algees, serves as a mirror for the spiritual warrior. The one whose battle is always with the small self, the, cap, the lower self, the ego self. The warrior's protection is like the curved horns of the elk or the warning rustle of the sedge grass for both serve to keep an open space around you. Remain mindful that timely right action and correct conduct are your only true protection. If you find yourself feeling pain Observe the pain. Stay with it. Do not try to pull down the veil and escape from life by denying what is happening. You will progress knowing that is your protection. Okay? So, again, just be aware or beware of your surroundings. Always. But, again, to repeat, this trespasser is somebody that you know. Okay? So... We might have to let go of some people, you know, especially ones that are not making you feel positive about your new spiritual warrior self, okay? Because on this channel, we are spiritual warriors on this channel, okay? We always have. You know, that's why my dragons are heavy protectors. We got to go back to all that metaphysics, but this year just kind of, I don't know, not fell apart on me, but I'm kind of seeing why I had to stop my clairvoyant alchemy reading. I, I, it's all coming together. You know, you don't want to think about things like this too much, but just be aware of beware, okay? But become your spiritual self, but look at the beauty that they're trying to bring forward to us. The temperance is beautiful. And master your alchemy, you know, metaphysically. We'll talk more about that. You know, and, and the stronger I get, like I mentioned, I have one more major surgery to go through and might have to put me, you know, in, in a, like a, you know, in a timeout mode, but nothing wrong with that, okay? Sometimes we're forced to, you know, I think illness makes us wake up to what we really want out of our future lives. And I've been saying since last year, you know, turning 58 this year, I don't have 58 more to go. And then having this condition upon me um, kind of like has awakened me a little more to getting done what I want done before I exit. <laughs> okay. I got a long time to go. Though. I love you all. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, enjoy the few days we have left, you know, for 2018, but start thinking about 2019 as that number code three, Empress Venus, okay, bounty, harvest, embracing that love, 
you know, she's the goddess of love, right? So think like her, male or female, doesn't matter. Just think like the Empress Venus for 2019. Stay safe out there, have fun, and I'll see you soon.